So one of my most favourite ways of drawing is called blind contour drawing. I'm going to demonstrate how I do it and show you what I, why I love it. When I'm drawing, I'm going to be looking really closely and carefully at the subject, at the object I'm drawing. What I'm looking at are the edges. So when I'm looking at this leaf here, I'm, I'm looking at the edges and I'm basically, my eye is following the edge as if my eye was sort of tracing the line, that uh, the outline of that thing. And as my eye traces it, my pencil follows it, almost like, you know, like a computer would look at an object and then um, graphically show it, you know. I'm trying to be like a computer, so I'm trying to just trace that edge as I go along. Now the beauty of the drawing is that I can't get it perfect because I'm not a robot, I'm not a computer, and that adds a lot of character to the drawing. So the reason it's called blind is because I don't look at the paper, I'm not looking at the pencil. But um, I'm also human, <laughs> so I will look at the pe pencil and the paper every now and again and just make sure that I can connect things and make it, you know, if I was to do, and, and actually sometimes forcing yourself not to look at the paper, you get a really gorgeous drawing. In fact, that's what I'll do first of all. Let me draw this by not looking at the paper at all. I'm going to just follow the edge and see what happens, see how far I go. expect them to come to the edge of the paper quite soon, so I'm going to go there and I'm coming back here. And I'm looking for all the little details that are going to give this drawing more descriptive quality. So that's, um, that's me drawing this plant and not looking at the paper. Um, and you know, you can get some really nice, um, you know, I love this little area here um, and where the lines cross over. It's a really interesting and, and I love this way of drawing. It really adds, um, I don't know, character to the thing. And, and if this was my drawing now, I'd probably, this looks quite fat in here, I'd come in and turn the thing and draw it again and get or just draw the stem up through here or something. Um, or I could draw, I could come in close and actually draw some of these little, these little flowery things that are just forming here. And it's just, you know, it's, I can add detail, I can, um, don't have to just follow the edge, I can come in and maybe do a little bit of shading, but I'm not looking at the at the paper at all and so it's going to have it's going to be sort of slightly skew with and it's actually you know it's it's I think it's quite a fun way of drawing because it's I don't know, it's just different it's kind of addictive anyway so that's um, that's that's how I do a blind contour drawing now I will do one I'll do a portrait blind contour drawing and that's fun as well now I've got my mirror here and I'm going to somehow, <laughs> oh dear, it's never too, never a very nice experience to look at myself in the mirror, but anyway, I will do it for you to show you what a blind contour drawing looks like. I'm going to change my pencil because that one's getting a bit blunt. Once again, I'm only going to look at what I'm drawing, if I can bear to, and um, not look at the page. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's make a start. So where something's dark, I'll just add a bit more pressure.
do a bit of shading. Okay, now I'm going to look at the drawing and decide what I want to do. Well, it's a bit of a crazy one, but it's quite fun. And I'm just going to give myself a little bit of tension in here. Still not looking, but just needs to be darkened up a little bit. And I um, had a student who did one of these every day for, um, I don't know, I think she did one every day for about three months and my goodness, were her drawings gorgeous, uh, you know, she just got better and better at seeing, but anyway, <clears throat> that's, uh, I might just do an edge. Quite fun. Um, so that's a portrait one. And you can also do, um, I mean, I could do, you know, a still life type one. I could draw a bottle. Let me draw a little bottle. I'll draw a bottle over here. Okay, just going to look at this bottle. So <clears throat> there's a little um, there's a little bottle as well, which is quite fun. So I think these are really um, full of character, these drawings. And um, the more you do, the more interesting they'll get. And the other thing you can do is you can draw another one over the top. So it's quite fun to come in with a different coloured pencil. It's all about looking for those details, trying to get as many details in on those edges as you can. So that's quite fun and you could come in and block out some areas. So that's, um, that's how you do blind contour drawing. So have a go and practice. Do one a day and um, just see how good you'll get because um, it's a quick thing to do. It doesn't take long. It's quite fun and um, it's interesting. I might go back to this portrait now and do a bit more on it. Mm -hmm.